Hi, my name is Halina and today I want to start a new series. So um, I was watching um, another channel uh, called Solo and Silver and um, or Silver and Solo and I really like her. She's um, She just started her channel last year and in the beginning of this year in January she uh, started a series once a week um, asking herself if she can grow her small YouTube channel and how long it would take her to monetize her channel. And she had 69 subscribers at the time uh, when she started and then every week she was like talking about her analytics and um, giving some feedback and, um, and you could kind of watch her channel grow slowly and she got monetized after 10 weeks and um, uh, yeah. And she also still did other videos about her other topics. And um, I got really inspired to try something similar. So um, I would like to see how this channel grows and where I can go with this and how long it would take me. And I know I have some other friends out there with YouTube channels and they might be interested in seeing um, more about the analytics and what works and what doesn't work. And I would love to hear from you as well. Um, how are you getting on and um, watching you grow? So um, let's see. So first, a little bit about my backstory. So about two years ago, I, um, I got quite sick and I might talk about this in another future video. Um, but for now, all I want to say that it was a very difficult time for our family and um, I'm so grateful and so glad that we're on the other side of it and that we got through it and um, and that we're all healthy and well now. So, um, but during that time when I was sick, during that time I felt um, very strongly that I needed to be more creative. So I decided that I finally wanted to build my creative online business, which I had thought about many, many years. And um, so when I started feeling a bit better, I began blogging again. And I also painted um, a bit. And I also wrote my first e-course, which I didn't sell because I... I was too embarrassed. I don't know. I just couldn't do it. But what I did, I learned um, through the process, I learned how to create an online course, which is brilliant. So it's not wasted. Um, then about half a year ago, I started podcasting, which was very interesting too. And um, again, the podcast itself wasn't super successful, but I learned how to get over the fear of speaking in public and recording my voice. And that was a huge step forward because a year ago I wouldn't have done this. And a year ago I would have never recorded myself on video like this. So that was the next step. After getting used to recording my voice, I, um, I put up a YouTube video again with my voice um, and that was just the start the beginning of the summer 2024 and um, and when I saw that it was that there were people interested in it and I got some subscribers from it I was really encouraged to do more and to create more videos and then I realized how much I enjoyed the process of creating videos the writing the filming the the recording and the editing I like all the different parts so far. So I started wondering if I could monetize my channel and if this could be the first step on building my online business. But the thing is, I don't really want to niche down because a lot of people say you have to niche down to grow. And um, <clears throat> I really can't imagine myself doing that because I feel like I have so many interests and also, um, I don't really want to box myself in. Um, I know that I can easily lo lose interest if I make my world too small. So I, and YouTube is, I think YouTube is perfect for um, people with multiple interests. 
who want to try lots of different things. So of course I want to listen to my audience and I want to read the comments and see what you guys want to see and, um, and definitely create more of that, whatever you're interested in. But I don't want to become a slave to like keywords and SEO and all those things. Not for every video anyway. Maybe I, I might do a few of them like this. But I think most of my videos, I just really want to create um, out of flow and like whatever I feel called to do that day. So I think YouTube is a great platform for people with multiple interests. Um, and it's also great for experimenting too. So even if you make a video and there's nobody is interested in it, um, it's not a big deal. You just move on and you make the next video. And um, you just keep experimenting and see what resonates with people and what you enjoy making as well. And slowly you find out what works and what you can improve and you learn every step of the way so it's i don't know i just i never thought i would like youtube so much but i actually really do and i love the community um on youtube as well i love the people here and that are commenting and and other youtubers like watching their videos like it's it's just a really nice place i think and so far i haven't seen any negative effects from it yet so we'll see I suppose once you grow, there might be more of that. But so far, it's been all very um, positive and uplifting and beautiful. So I'm really curious to see where this can go and what can come out of it. Um, so I would love you to join me on this journey. And over the next three months, oh yeah, I wrote something down. So here is my plan for the next three months. I want to create two videos per week, no matter what. I want to create one video a week, hopefully every Monday, talking to the camera like this and showing my analytics. And just like um, let you know how everything is going and how much my channel has grown over the, the past week. And then my other video will be like the others before. So I want to do just B-roll and voiceover, which I really enjoy as well. And the topics will be probably on creativity, journaling, crafts, seasonal ideas, uh, drawing, painting, everything that I come up with, whatever I feel like doing that week. So we'll see how it goes. And I'm really looking forward to that. And I hope you will join me and um, like and subscribe if you want. And um, we'll see you in a few days again. Bye. Okay, so here I'm in my analytics and um, you can see everything, my analytics from the whole 2024 um the period and you see in the beginning there wasn't much because i only had like four subscribers or maybe 10 at some stage and then in may all of a sudden it spiked because um that's when i um, published a video and um it just took off <laughs> and here i'm in the last 28 days so you can see because I, up to today, I have 365 subscribers, but I got 200 of them in the last 28 days. And this is actually just because of two videos so far. It was one video all along, which was like the um, starting a journal for a nature study. And then I made another nature journal video, nature journal with me. And that also was quite popular and is still growing. And I'm still getting subscribers from the two videos all the time. And some of the other videos, they also brought me subscribers. But yeah, you can see here now in the last seven days, I got 69, which is good as well. I mean, this is nearly 10 a day. 
So slowly, when I started posting more videos every week, um, it started growing. And we'll see where this goes next week. So good. Alles so hoch drückt. Ja. Okay. Das ist doch sehr schön. Das ist okay.